Hey, I just tried. How you doing? Thank you. Getting ready to go get the coffee. I don't know if we're going to take the camera out. Thank you for uh, tuning in to West One Radio. I found this when I was cleaning out the shoes. If people watch, if people watch the show, they uh, they they know that one day I was going to do butter 15, but I had to check out all my shoes for the spring because today is that day. It is spring. Yeah, we can open up our shirts, I guess. We're on the beach. That's my beach attire. Anyway, um, I was cleaning the shoes. I found I found this bottle of Nerve Tonic and a pair of shoes. It's health. It's from a health store. It's very healthy. Uh, when I was see, when I start my uh, my workouts, I usually start it around now, and I work out right up until November. Uh, like I said. I don't I don't like the gyms too much. But this stuff is good. I like I like bike riding. Uh the gyms scare me in a way. You know, I don't know. Just everybody's sweating, everyone you know, everyone's in there using all the equipment and stuff. I mean it's not like you can you can go into the you know, jacuzzi or the, the swimming pool or uh and by the way, prong it's playing here. Does anyone notice prompt? Or are you just focusing on me? Anyway, I gotta, I gotta get better at hosting. So I'm gonna tell you a story. When I was, um, I got the bracelet on. When I was 15 years old, it was like about two months before I was gonna get my driver's license. And uh, my dad, I don't know, he, well, he worked at the Arsenal for many, many years. But I think it might have been around that the, the time where, like, uh, the country was kind of in chaos. Not the country. Well, I mean, well, Reagan. It was all Reagan. It was late Reagan. It was like, uh, yeah, it was late Reagan and stuff like that. I don't know. I guess, well, he had a, he had a uh, government job, so... I don't know, I guess they were cutting back, you know, maybe the stuff that's going out, furloughs, I have no idea, but, uh, I know, you know, he was a, he's a, he was a great responsible guy, knew, had so many connections, you know, easy going, so I guess he was part-timing, like, uh, being a, a guard at a high school, and, uh, it was at night, and, uh, well, I don't know, overnight shift, whatever, but, you know, it was, anyway, he, um, took all of my friends up there to the swimming pool, I mean, we were all, like, you know, in a band and stuff like that, and, and at the time, he was trying to do intervention on me, even though he didn't need to, but he thought, you know, I was out of control, because, you know, he found the Chicken Chong records, the ACDC, he knew I was playing the drums, I guess my mom found some kind of joint rolled up in strawberry uh, wrapping paper and my uh, symbols and the hi-hat. True story. Uh, I came home, you know, and she's got it on the, on the kitchen table. You know, and then my father brought this cop down, uh, Pastor, and uh, he was like giving me all kinds of, he's like, you're, you're bad. You're bad. You're, you're headed down the wrong path. Of course, that week I was also throwing dummies out in the road. I was making the dummies just from clothes and putting fake blood on it and just throwing the road. I don't know. To me, we got laughs. I just didn't know. But we got away with, with, with that kind of stuff. If we did it today, my God. And then there was some kind of thing out on the Sarcasm's page where she had the list of all the people who went on, you know, who did the things, you know, the bad things. You know, shootings and all that. And a lot of them were registered, um, one in one particular party, I won't mention it, but 